in the words of Colonel G.F.R. Henderson, it is the leader who reckons with the human nature of his troops and of the enemy rather than with their mere physical attributes, numbers, armament, and the like who can hope to follow in Napoleon's footsteps. Got to know your people. Got to know human nature. Mm-hmm. <laughs> got to know human nature. It's more important than physical. It's more important than people you got. Number of people you got is more important than their weapons. Human nature. There are a few governing principles, and before considering their application in detail, we should first think about the file. So now we're talking about a guy, a troop, a soldier. Mm -hmm. He is a man. He expects to be treated as an adult, not a schoolboy. He has rights, they must be made known to him, and thereafter respected. He has ambition, it must be stirred. He has a belief in fair play, it must be honored. He has the need of comradeship. It must be supplied. He has imagination. It must be stimulated. He has a personal sense of dignity. It must not be broken down. He has pride. It can be satisfied and made the bedrock of his character once he gains assurance that he is playing a useful and respected part in a superior and successful organization. To give men working as a group the feeling of great accomplishment together is the acme of inspired leadership. You could basically, if you're going into a leadership position, just read that to yourself every morning. Mm -hmm. Just what what your subordinates are, what they are. A man. Be treated as an adult, not a schoolboy. Those are just so important the way you view your troops. And some people have a hard time with that. Some people have a hard time with that. 